The following Norse myth is told in chapter 27 of the book, The Classic Myths in English, Literature, and in Art. The Recovery of Thor's Hammer Soon afterward, it happened that Thor's hammer fell into the possession of the frost giant king Thrym, who buried it eight fathoms deep under the rocks of Jotunheim, the realm of the frost giants. Thor sent his brother Loki to negotiate with Thrym. But he could only prevail so far as to get the giant's promise to restore the weapon if the goddess Freya would consent to be his bride. Loki returned and reported the result of his mission. But the goddess of love was horrified at the idea of bestowing her charms on the king of the frost giants. In this emergency, Loki persuaded Thor to dress himself in Freya's clothes and accompany him to Jotunheim. Thrym received his veiled bride with all due courtesy, but was greatly surprised at seeing her eat for her supper eight salmon and a full-grown ox, besides other delicacies, washing the whole down with three casks of mead. Loki, however, assured him that she had not tasted anything for eight long nights, so great was her desire to see her lover and renowned ruler of Jotunheim. Thrym had at last the curiosity to peep under his bride's veil, but started back in a fright and demanded why Freya's eyeballs glistened with fire. Loki repeated the same excuse, and the giant was satisfied. He ordered the hammer to be brought in and laid at the maiden's lap. Thereupon Thor threw off his disguise, grasped his redoubled weapon, and slaughtered Thrym and all his followers. The End Well, that was not the last time someone messed with Thor's hammer, but I think we can all agree it's never a good idea. Never take someone else's favorite toy. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel for new videos every week or two, and see the description below for the details on the book featured in this video.